And of course, last but certainly not least is Firebug. Uh, I remember when I first discovered Firebug, a friend of mine put me onto it. Previous to Firebug, I was using the uh, CSS functions of um, Web Developer, which which are awesome, but uh, but probably don't match quite with Firebug. Um, it, very very briefly, Firebug allows you to see <coughs> not only the code of your um, page you're looking at in line, but also the style sheet attached to that. Um, and and I'm going to go into a fair bit of depth uh, to show you how to do that. Um, let's just bring up a standard uh, uh, Joomla um, site just for a moment. And this is one that I have on my local computer. So I'm going to click on the Firebug, uh, and then I'm going to click on the Inspect. I'll just really briefly run you over uh, how this is working, and then we'll go into some detail. So as I move my mouse around, uh, a little blue um, rectangular box wraps around certain parts of, co of the site. And as I do that, it also shows me in this side the, uh, the code that's being produced on, this, on the page. And also then on the right hand side, the associated styles uh, in the style sheet and even what style sheet it's going with. Now one thing I'm not going to try and do in this tutorial is to teach you st uh, CSS. Um, I, I'm a firm believer of, of pointing people in the right direction and allowing them to learn themselves. Uh, if you're here to learn every everything you need to know about style sheets, I apologize, but that's not what I'm going to do. Um, I guess I'm expecting you to learn a bit about that yourself uh, and what I'm going to do is show you how to uh, get that knowledge and then use it uh, to, to develop and modify Joomla templates. Essentially um, the pages that, that Joomla produces are dynamic pages. In other words, the code we see here, and in fact let's just go one step further, let's use one of the functions in web developer that I often use. Uh, there is a, um, a a shortcut for it but you can also click on view source and then view source and you can see the shortcut is control shift u which I use all the time. If we click on that it'll produce a page uh, in a separate window that shows you the dynamically produced code for your Joomla site. Now I need to just quickly explain that to those that don't understand what I'm saying. What that means is this this isn't um, uh, any index.php file. This isn't any file that actually ever exists, to be honest. It's a file that is produced by a combination of the content in the database and the index file, both in your root and also the index file, more importantly, the index file in your template. So this gives us an idea of, of, of what uh, code is being produced those of you that have developed in static PHP, uh, sorry, static HTML before, uh, this will be a little bit of a, uh, uh, a, a bit of a difference, bit of, bit of a change, because c traditionally we would have typed and, and put all this in ourselves, as opposed to Joomla is now producing most of this code we see here. Let's just close that. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we have uh, on this side the code that Joomla is producing, and as we move our mouse around it, you can also see. Um, as I move my mouse around, for example, if I just move that up a little bit, it might be a bit hard to see. I'll just be careful how I do this. My auto panning feature wants to move around with me. Uh, how can I do this? There we go. Uh, you see, you notice how when I put my mouse over this div, div tag, which has the ID of pathway, we can see that this here gets highlighted by uh, Firebug. Uh, so if I click on that, uh, I know that I've got that selected. So we can see that it produces a span with a class of breadcrumbs pathway underneath. That's the actual piece of code that it's putting in. Um, and in fact, if I if I typed in there, it even allows me to type, to do that in line. Now, I need to explain this throughout all of what you do with Firebug. It's purely changing what your computer has cached for you. So it's not actually changing your site, but it's a very, very cool way of, of finding out um, you know how your changes will look before making those changes and this is why Firebug is so powerful. Okay so let's just change that back to home just for example like that and it says home. Let, let's use that breadcrumb pathway I'm going to say that right soon breadcrumb pathway as an example. So I'm going to uh, 
click on that. Uh, in fact, we'll, we'll just go back one step. We'll click on the inspect, put our mouse over that so we know it's selecting it, and click, and that selects that for us. And what it also does is automatically selects the correct area in the correct template. This is, uh, sorry, the, in the correct style sheet of your template, because bearing in mind that many templates have multiple style sheets. Now, we'll have to go into a little bit de detail further on uh, when some templates produce their style sheet based on variables. It becomes a little more difficult, but most of them uh, will just have, it will show you which template it's using. And in fact, if you put your mouse over it, it even shows you the path to that template, which is just so cool. So, uh, those of you that understand CSF a little bit, they'll know that the class is a way of, of um, modifying an existing tag as opposed to an ID. So here's span.pathway, because there's the dot. So as we can see, we've got, um, uh, we've clicked on this area here that's indicated that we're altering the pathway, this here. And it's automatically chosen the correct line in this template, in this style sheet. And what it now allows us to do is make inline edits. Now let me just explain what inline means. It means that you are you're altering just what you're seeing on your screen right now. You're not actually altering the um, the actual file. So if I just double click at the end of the last line, and as I've said before, I'm not here to teach you um, style sh cascading style sheets. I'm here just to teach you how to implement them. So you'll need to understand some of this yourself. But a very basic command is color. Color will change the color of the font. And if I now put red, um, and I uh, just click to the side and then go back up here, we notice it's changed to red. So if I was to also, you know, I could now go, um, uh, for example, font weight, bold, and maybe font size, I'll make it uh, 2 em really big and we can see the change that it's made right in line of course the moment i refresh the screen uh, it will grab a new copy and uh and be um and yet go back to the same uh, to where it was let's suppose i wanted to make those changes permanent um, uh, so i'm going to uh, play around again and, and make sure it's working uh, so I'll just we'll just make the color uh, red. We'll just make that one change there, so that's going to be red. If I was to uh, put my mouse over there, it'll tell me that it's on line 333 of template.css that's located within the the CSS folder of my template that I'm using. So I'm just going to simulate now, um, and of course you would need to do this. Uh, via FTP generally but of course because I'm developing just locally here and, and you might be as well a um, another video series that I'm about to produce and you may have already read it uh, watched it by now uh, is how to transfer your site from local to a um, to a, a test uh, to a, a real hosting environment so if you're going to the to do that this is actually how you would do it so I'm now going to open up um, my the template that I'm using and CSS and I'm going to come down and find template.css I'm going to open that with uh, NPAD2 uh, those of you that have watched some of my other videos will know that I've explained to you to use NPAD2 it's a great little uh, editor and you can see that it actually has syntax highlighting already uh, for me so I'm going to go down to line 333 and I need to see those line numbers first so just go over here show line numbers so here they are here, so I'm going to scroll all the way down to 3.33, there it is here. So this is what we were seeing in here. And I know that all I need to do is add colour. Now, I could copy that, but it's not a big stretch to just simply put your mouse here, push a carriage return, and copy what you did before. So colour, colon, and then I'm just going to type red. Now, 